Hello, uh, I am Dr. Sandeep Pal. I am a consultant gastroenterologist at uh, R. N. Tagore Hospital, uh, Mukundapur, Kolkata. So, today we will discuss about a procedure called endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. Now, this procedure has come off late and has really taken off, like a lot of people are opting for this procedure. So, this procedure is usually done for the treatment of uh, obesity. So, here what we do is, uh, as you can see in this picture, like uh, this is the this is a pictorial diagram of the stomach and the intestines so here what we do is so uh, we via endoscopy we reduce the stomach size so as you can see here this is the normal picture of the stomach and the stomach after ESG you see this part of the stomach is cut off but we don't cut off the stomach we don't take out it from the body as in bariatric surgeries in bariatric surgeries also the same thing is done the stomach is done so they call it endoscopic sleep gastrectomy so they cut the stomach but here what we do is we reduce the size of the stomach uh, via uh, by taking some sutures inside the stomach so as you know stomach is a distensible organ uh, so with the help of endoscopy in that shape uh, we take sutures in the stomach and we reduce the size of the stomach so what happens is after this uh, stomach size is reduced the desire to eat uh, food uh, decreases as the capacity of the stomach decreases so and not only this is the mechanism the other mechanism there are some uh, hormonal alterations also after this procedure uh, because of which patient does not have the desire to eat food and uh, the weight of the patient decreases now uh, how much weight decreases so usually what we have seen is in the first six months of after the procedure around 20 percent of the excess body weight is decreased so after that the patient has to maintain so we usually advise the patient a diet plan and also uh, also a exercise physical exercise and lifestyle modifications we advise the patient and they have to follow that for which to, to get the desired effect now about the procedure what are the what is the indication of this procedure not does all patients need this procedure no so any patient who is obese who is overweight uh, so we advise them first we advise them to decrease the body weight by usual lifestyle modifications like physical activity by cutting down the calories and avoiding carbohydrates so there are definite meal plans and diet plans which we offer the patient and we ask the patient like you follow this for six months one year and by that if you can reduce the weight that's good but after that also if the desired result is not achieved then we advise this we advise these procedures for the patient now why do you need this procedure because as you know uh, obesity is a part of uh, metabolic syndrome now metabolic syndrome is a conglomerate of disease which includes diabetes mellitus hypertension alter uh, dyslipidemia increased uric acid uh, and uh, all this uh, taken together we call it metabolic syndrome now this uh, if someone has got this uh, say this uh, conditions usually if one condition is there other condition comes and these are all linked to obesity and that's uh, this uh, due to obesity the chances of fatty liver disease and NASH non alcoholic state hepatitis which can lead to liver uh, cirrhosis and liver cancer then uh, chances of cardiac disease stroke all these increases also we know the uh, side effects of increased body weight like the patients will have osteoarthritis backache and all this there's a lot of diseases which occur due to obesity so uh, so for those patients who are obese uh, we advise this procedure and we have done a few cases uh, in patients and they in uh, they usually lose weight and after that again we the word of caution only doing this procedure is not enough after doing the procedure patient has to follow the diet plan and lifestyle modification to have the optimal results thank you